Every fan has a dream to work with their favorite characters. Personally, someday I'd like to make a Mega Man fighting game. Most of these dreams manifest themselves in fan games, but sometimes the fans get to work with these characters with the backup of the company themselves, and that's what happened for Pelkin Tournament. Believe it or not, people have been wanting a Pokemon fighting game for quite a long time and Pokemon Tournament was the answer for them. Designed by a bunch of Pokemon fans from Bandai Namco, the game has a lot of work put into it. The team worked as hard to create a good fighting game while also putting some work into balancing and creating movesets for the characters. They had a couple of other things in mind. Make sure that the roster isn't completely consisting of bipedal Pokemon, and to try to make the Pokemon look as realistic as possible by putting realistic looking material on them. The game itself is a very interesting mix of 2D and 3D. In the first version of the game, one player would use the Wii U gamepad to play while the other person would use the TV. This brought about something that nobody thought was possible before, and that was creating a fighting game that had both 2D and 3D elements to it. The game works in phases, the field phase being sort of your run around, attack from distance sort of thing, and the duel phase where you got up close and personal with your opponent and did the most damage. The key to winning the game is controlling the field in both phases, and you're going to see that in today's Pokémon Tournament games. Alright guys, sorry for the delay, welcome to Ouija Warriors. Um, I'm here with Chris to chat this time. Boy. Um. Uh, today we're commenting Pokemon. Commentating. Mm. <laughs> we're anyway. commentating Pokemon. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, um, I'm actually gonna post the rule set this time because I've been forgetting to do it. I'm not gonna post the other ones, but if you really want the stage list for Brawl Up for some reason, we will post it in the, uh, Description, why not? And don't snap. I hate you guys. <laughs> alright, stop. Okay, it's like spiking. Okay. Yeah, alright, so we're, we're gonna, gonna get right into this. Um, this first match is me versus Vanilla Jack, I believe. Okay, so looks like Michael is going I'm with Mario and yeah. Steven. Is going with Weavile. Oh wait, no, this oh, is this you. Is me and Mike. This is you. Okay. Uh, it looks like I went with Weavile and Michael went you can with. Call. Oh, by the way, uh, real quick, as you can Eevee. see, there's Evie, uh, right there. Uh, hyped she doesn't for come out. Let's, spoiler alert. Well, uh, hyped for Let's Go Evie and Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, anyway. Um. All right, here we go. Round one. Okay, anyway, uh... <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're jumping in, the, the game has begun. Honestly, I think this is the best we've played the entire uh, tournament so far. Has yeah, been really. Pokémon Tournament as a whole. Oh yeah, Pokémon Tournament, yeah, but because not we... for me because my Weavile's stinking right now. Personally, I've done a lot better. So I was only using the Wii remotes. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Golly, I wonder no. why I was not allowed to. Because... Oh, I don't know. Because you're not compatible with DX and we just gotta do DX. <laughs> now, one of the things that disoriented me a bit was that I was in the Player 2 section, and the way that Pokemon Tournament worked back on the uh, Wii U was that one person would use the gamepad and then the other person would use the TV. So I wouldn't That's have to worry about it. why I was like it. Player 2 is because he got the TV. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, like, usually if I was on a Wii remote, I'd be doing, like, I probably have won this because nah, my Revile is unbeatable on the original. <laughs> you still would have lost. Nah, I wouldn't have. You should have done this energy burst there, that would have broken. Yeah. It. But I got the small one in this one. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm holding yeah. block for this. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, Do we turn this one out? Oh, yeah. no, never mind. <laughs> Commentator curse. Alright, so. Game one is mine. Or round one, not Frog game one. Ear, he did it as his first support set and has not experimented with any others. Since. I have, it's just that that's the one that's worked the best. Oh my gosh, I did the exact it's same broken. thing. Is it looping? Hmm? No, it's not looping. Okay, because it's looking awfully similar. No, oh, no, yeah, it's not looping. I like Umbreon. Umbreon's like a really good Pokemon. I mean, yeah. Although, no matter how much I do it, I can never catch a Weavile. 
That's a shame. Ice type suck anyway, so. Nice cross up, if I do say so myself. I'd say ice types one of the top three I remember worst this. types. Maybe even the worst. Yeah, one thing I was like, stop, no, don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, one thing I like to do, um by the way, that's game one for me. Mm -hmm. Um one thing I like to do is I like after I launch the burst attack is to go for a grab. Because Lucario's Lucario's is just really good for it, honestly. You just rush in, and if they block it, oh well, you can just immediately go for a grab. And they won't have much time to react. So, Krista Chad's switching over to Gengar. Um, which is the other character. It's my secondary. And then my pockets are Blastoise and Blaze But either way, uh, about Gengar. Um, just a random Pokemon fact here. Uh, Gengar was one of the three ghost types of Gen 1. Uh, the other two were Haunter and uh, Ghastly. Uh, so basically, um, Haunter, Ghastly, and Gengar were the only ghost type line in Gen 1, along with being the only ghost types in Gen 1. So, All right. interesting fact. Game, Alright, Game 2, 2, 0, 1. That hitbox is dumb. Pretty sure Lucario is Gen 4. I realized that... All of the hitboxes in the field phase are really stupid. Seriously, Gengar should have the advantage here, being that he is a ghost type, but of course this isn't like actually Pokemon. This is Pokemon fighting. Like yeah, look at these. Pokemon. I mean, I certainly do love watching uh, this game. This is a really good game. Yeah. And on the Switch it just becomes better because it's now in like... It went from, like, I think the Wii was 720 to 1080. Yeah. Easily. And in Portal Memo, it's back to 720, but... You just look at this. Plus, quite, even, uh, yeah. Yeah, even And the new um, characters are nice. I like playing with the new characters. Aegis yeah. Slash, and, like, the DLC was fun. Like, Aegis Slash. Um, yeah, playing uh, Pokemon XD. Yeah, the Pokemon XD videos were really fun to do. Yeah. I liked, I liked that pun, because it's supposed to be called DX with Deluxe. Actually... Uh, yes. Deluxe What the heck are, happened there? Yeah, that was a counter attack. It should have shattered. The fun, fun fact, Deluxe versions aren't new for Nintendo. Yeah. Um, there was a Game Boy Color game, which was Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, and there's Tetris DX, and there's a bunch of DX games, so yeah. yeah. It's not really a new thing, but it's, uh... Yeah. Anyway. Really brought new life into the name of Deluxe, so you could say. Wait, that hitbox is still uh, I mean, dumb. Like, you had stuff like Street Fighter. There's probably oh, a Street yeah, Fighter 2 Deluxe or whatever. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but, uh, moving on. <laughs> yeah, this Gengar has one of I don't even remember what happened there, but, like, there's, like, a point where I don't do anything for some reason. I don't remember I can't why. Play this game now a little bit more today. I mean, there. Gengar's burst hat. Okay. What are, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, right, this. Oh, yeah. This is really all I had to do. I really should have done this earlier. I don't even know why I was doing that. I could have just done a bone rush. So, final round. Most overpowered move in the game, by far. Final round, game two. Oh, I remember this. This was annoying. Yeah. <laughs> First phase shift. Gee, I wonder what happened. Just that slow push. Yeah, and then there's like bone rush, and then... Gengar's and then I just start doing it again, cause you know, logic. Gengar's burst attack, like Gengar's burst in general, is devastating. I yeah, I mean like, I love it. it it's just so evil, and I'm pretty sure it's one of the highest damages in the game. Yeah, and I'm not just talking about uh his burst attack. I'm talking about like in general. Gengar's, also, that is my favorite move. Gengar's burst form is probably. Is really dangerous. It really changes him up from basically. It makes him and like. This happens. <laughs> it changes him from you could consider a technical character. It makes him feel a lot more like a power character. And right back to normal. Gotta. This was a sad round. I really could have won this. Yeah, finishing it with a grab again. That's that, so mean. That brings us he went to. Too well. Yep. Darth Ouija 2 0 over Krista Chat. So is, is this clipped? Uh, yeah, not okay, totally good. though. There's gonna be a little bit of uh, talking, I guess. Um, 
All right. Yeah, so All now right. we're moving on to the next game. We're resetting it to make it easier to... Um, Actually, yeah, we need it for alternate control setups because Vanilla Jack was asking about um, GameCube controllers. Well, no, it wasn't GameCube controllers. Oh well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. There we yeah, go. The catcher, <laughs> the side. He did the sideways remote, which I found was very interesting because. We, well, he just can't play with the double. No, I understand times, too. That, I understand where he's coming from, from, though. Like when I thought about it. Losing like him. It's better to have one small controller and two small controllers yeah. to work with. I mean, the Wii Remote was an exception, of course, but now this one, this one was a bit out of a blue, the blue, because as you saw from the profile at the beginning, this guy does not have a Mewtwo of either kind. Honestly, he's got uh the he pulled it out from like nowhere. It was quite yeah. a surprise. Very interesting. Yeah. So we're just sitting here like, uh, what? Yeah, and I, I kept like trying to warn him and then, yeah. Turns out it was actually pretty good for his, uh, game. Yeah, what you're I gonna mean, see in yeah. the set. Okay, so, uh, Shadow Me too. Alright, Vanilla Jack versus Darth Ouija. Here we go. I feel like they could've done a bit more with Shadow Me too, or at least given the, uh, DX. Mega Rayquaza. Mega Rayquaza. He's got like a huge hitbox <laughs> on his assist, but I feel like they didn't represent, like, power enough. I think Poke and DX could have uh, had like a second story mode added to it because we pretty much just got the yeah. same game over again with new players. Yeah, one thing I noticed when I first go went online for this game is that like everybody played Shadow Mewtwo, that in the lower levels, and... I just want to post that they completed the story mode. Never had to play. No, everything comes unlocked in the DX version. Oh, that's stupid. No, that's Except the point of the version. Sliding into DMs, be like. <laughs> here's the here's the Shadow uh, Mewtwo isn't actually a uh, in the right quite hand. So original, idea, actually. Yeah, uh, Pokemon Stadium or Coliseum, I forget which one. You get the uh, picture. Yeah, had Shadow Pokemon. So but yeah, like this is just the redesign. Steven actually did a pretty good job handling Shadow Mewtwo here, and. Like, Shadow Mewtwo had very, has very limited health, as you can see. Yeah, Lucario he's has 600 weak. and he's average, and uh, Shadow, Shadow Mewtwo has 480. Yeah, he's pretty he's, weak, It's he, he, he can get devastated. He's below the average. Yeah, also, nice little... he has terrible defense. Yeah. He's everything, you gotta fight as hard as you can. Holy crap. <laughs> you guys see that? I saw it. 420, blaze it. <laughs> And yeah, it was wait, back up to full to full health because of the. Uh, oh yeah, I did the. Uh, I think I tried to do extreme speed there. Yeah, I I hate it when you're about to do a move and they pull out the sudden burst attack and you're like, oh crap. And the planet just got destroyed, as well you as sure that's me. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine hits. I was also destroyed, giving Vanilla Jack the first win of the set. I mean, the Shadow Me Two's design as Mega is like really cool. But now that's normal. He just looks like a Mewtwo that's got the piece of diamond stuck in him with a yeah. glowy tail. And he usually goes you know Mega during the story do? mode. Anyway, so here I we go. I really think they should do like a Shadow Mew. That would be pretty yeah. cool. Ah, no. I can see what that is. Anyway, so game two of Vanilla Jack versus Darth Ouija. My question is why would they build the Coliseum here? It's practically inaccessible. Whatever. A waterfall in there. Maybe it's for the. People who like watching the game on their I don't think uh, anybody cares. Pokemon. Anyway, so moving on, some interesting Someone stuff going on. Taught their, uh, Use the Elmer, sir. Oh, he did like that heal thing, and he could not figure out how to do it for the rest of the set. He was trying to show us, but we kept hitting him. <laughs> yeah. I hate it when that happens. I'm just trying to be like, okay, I, I want to try this, oh, and then they just Mimikyu, keep Mimikyu, my favorite. Mm, delicious. Splendid. Simply delicious. Mm. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, I'm going for the grab. Uh, eventually. Yeah, that was painful just seeing one. It was like, oh. Uh, we thought, you know, wait, maybe he's going to come back. Yeah. Honestly, I was debating whether to go Blastoise for this, because I picked up Blastoise as a secondary, kind of. Or wanted to practice Blastoise a little bit, but I decided to stay Lucario, and honestly, that kind of scared me a little bit. 
Like this one. Lucario's after the first set, I kind of get. Yeah, after the first set, I kind of got uh scared, and especially with that block, that uh block when he broke my block, I think he might have been able to take advantage of it if the phase didn't shift. Yeah. Um, this is really. Uh, he's one. I I can see why he's really good at playing Shadow Mutsus because he's a guy who uh, he's really good on his defense and he's really good on his attack. So Shadow yeah. Mutsu is almost perfect for him. He can just yeah. pull up because Shadow Mutsu's defense is terrible. He can take advantage of that because his attack is through the roof. So yeah, yeah. So he, I take, he never gets hit. I take he game just, two. It's yeah. the final game of the set. Yeah. Building off of what you said, I didn't want to interrupt you too hard, but it was just switching over. Yeah. Thing about gone. Um, oh, <laughs> Vanilla Jacket, all of his things, he always picks characters that have a very aggressive Shit play style. Gone, Pikachu Libre. It's, it would have saved his butt. I don't know. I still think I would have been. I know how to fight his peak. Actually, now that I think about it, if he did go Pikachu Libre, those uh, those. <laughs> That Pikachu costume from Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, you know, that's what we need in our uh, Pokemon Tekken fighting game, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Someone's yeah. like drunk, he's like, man, I just finished Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and I was in the contest hall. This lady, it was mostly by Namco, actually. This lady gave me really a wasn't Pikachu. And it was beautiful. It was wearing this wrestling outfit. I think we should call it Pikachu Libre and totally put it again. Yeah. And I was like, okay. So game three, um, final game of the set. Winner takes the set, obviously. And let me tell you, this first part was really scary. His Mewtwo was aggressive as all get out. Yeah, and if you watch, you can see some of uh, some of uh, Gen One moves. Snuck yeah, in he there. almost got a perfect there. Like, uh, side cut or whatever you call it. Uh, Dude, yeah, this first part was. I was actually scared. We were both. The tensions were high for this one because I wanted to. Actually, I believe I wanted to see one of Galade's moves. I wanted to take a game. I haven't taken a game all tournament, and I mean, you can kind of see that I'm sticking to my guns with only one character. All the others, I've been going around switching characters. It's so painful watching Lucario's final because it's like it's so easy to dodge. But it's so hard when you actually get hit. It just hits you so hard. This is the I yeah he gets me. I remember here. this being the other way around. Like you shielded it, but it was on the other side. I'm pretty sure that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get it. You keep getting these critical hits. I don't know how you do that. Maybe you just push the buttons at just the right time. Um. Yeah, that's one of the late moves. I think. Side side cut? Yeah. Side uh, right. uh game round three, game three. This is gonna be where twice. things this is gonna be where things get tense. Cause whoever wins this takes the set. I remember he, he's Oh man. Dude, he's we so were both out. yeah, we were both stressed out. Because you were both hitting each other. And I think we both played, oh. in my opinion, we played both played really well this game. Uh, I beg to defer on your part. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was what I was remembering. Right here. She just shielded it. And that was painful watching. It was like, that, that should be hit. Yeah, I think and we you both- keep getting those critical hits. I don't know what's going on, but that's not supposed to happen that often. I don't think. Yeah, I think we both played really well this set, honestly. Like, uh, look at this, look at this! Nice movement from Vanilla Jack. Just trying to keep his distance. He's trying not to get hit. I don't think Mewtwo's, Mewtwo's got some reliable zoning tools, but not too much. Some nice work. Keeping it. We were all just waiting for the, the burst. Gauge to fill because it wasn't. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, there was a bit of a glitch. Just. Yeah, there was a bit of a glitch in the capture. Um, I ended it with a grab there, so I end up taking game three. Let me tell you, this is probably my favorite. You could see that it filled just as he got hit. And yeah. I, ah. Let me tell you, that was my favorite set of the game of the entire tournament so far. Speaking of honestly. which, after we're done here, could we uh play some Pokemon? 
Eh, probably not. Well, anyway, please. moving on to what happened. Uh, okay, well, well. I do believe that we have. Okay, we're just gonna. All oh, right. Yeah. The oh yeah. Thing. Hold on a sec. Okay. okay uh, we're, uh, back. we're moving on to game. This is gonna throw off the capture a little bit. Um, but we are moving on to Vanilla Jack versus Krista Chat. This one was an interesting one. Uh, As he pulled out the shadow me too. I was ready. I was. Uh, we had two practice rounds. I beat him in both. But I was just ready. I was like, you know what? Let's do this. But then he some out of nowhere. Wait, he didn't play shadow me too during the practice rounds, did he? He played me too. He played normal me too. I think. I think. Also, I think normal me too is better than shadow me too. Yeah. No, no, it was shadow me too. And then he play. I think he plays normal me too next. This was just painful just watching. I was like, you know what? Why? Where did all these moves come from? Because, yeah. I mean, like, he wasn't using these during you guys. Sliding into DMs. <laughs> and it was just so fast. I could not do a thing. Except for that. Yeah. Like you said earlier, Vanilla Jack thrives off of characters I think that I are jump this. Oh, no, no. Just... Thrives off of characters that are. so of the... boring. Ooh, this is a nice setup. Yeah, it was. He didn't even have to go into the final. Yeah, Vanilla Jack exactly. thrives off of characters with very aggressive options. Strangely, in, the, in like most like normal games, like platform fighters, he's different. He likes his heavyweights in mm -hmm. platform fighters. Conventional he likes a lot of hits to be with one of the press. Everyone likes that. It's yeah. satisfying watching your character just pull out his Crazy stuff. Eh. Mm. Use the times I used to spinal it was a bit odd. Um, honestly, he kind of learned how to dodge the top Yeah, you always, like, you always, you always. I always do that. It's it really effective. It fills the burst gauge about like what thirty percent. Yeah, but you always start the uh, field phase this way, and here's him just. Oh being my annoying. gosh, that was annoying. Cause I couldn't yeah, do he anything. said it would be funny. He said it would be funny. I said I'm no. I'm right back there. I'm getting spammed. It was annoying, and it took away like half my game. Yeah, Honestly, saying, it was like, straight up critical hits, and then. And yeah. I was like, well, he did take it, but I was like, like at first it was awesome, and then I was like, bruh, stop spamming. <laughs> it's not funny. fun for the audience to watch. Hey, this is gonna be funny. Okay. Stop! Stop it right now! <laughs> because here's the thing. Well, at the same time, we want to provide some excellence. At the same time, I please, also want to provide just... a good show. All right, he oh, this is this fun. Situation. This is UI. You want go? Wait, you want blast? I was gonna say you go Blastoise. I think no. No, I you want just want Weavile. I was, I was, just, like, I was you don't really playing it safe. You you played Blastoise? For no, the... for so much hype after it was released and waiting to do Ouija Warriors till Blastoise was released, nobody used them. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I thought about using him, but at the same time, same I've been switching around with characters the last couple of games, and I've been paying for it, so I just thought sticking to my guns would yeah. be more wise if I wanted to. Yeah, take and a then gun I used all. Espeon, and I was ticked. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, it was so lagged. I was just, I, I slid to the right and I hit, uh, A, but it Capture. didn't, uh, it didn't switch. So, I ended up using Espeon this round. Luckily, Espeon charges fast and regains a bit of health. But still, it's not really good. Now, I don't I know. like the combination of Umbreon and Espeon. Like, it was nice. Well done. Thank you, I think I nice just punish from I should have pulled Krista out Chat. the uh, right here. A I really nice out. setup from Krista Chat here. He's a bit mad about this one. I like to do... Okay, yeah. Oh, that actually yeah. hit? Wow. I need to say... That gave me no health, and it's supposed to heal me. I'm pretty sure it does recover well. Here's the thing, though. So you just I mean, that. I think... If I remember correctly, you do a real you did a really good job like racking up damage, getting combos and things like that, even when you got interrupted. I'm sure I have a feeling you went for Umbreon instinctively to try to disrupt him and extend your combo, but I don't think it worked out because you picked the wrong. Umbreon? 
Yeah. Espeon. Yeah, no, you hit Espeon by accident. And then you were trying to trigger him to get Umbreon. And Espeon literally gave me no help. And there's my signature cross up. So happy about that. Some nice combos, or. <laughs> well, combos, but at the same time, just like nice punish game from. So. Vanilla funny Jack. thing. I was advertising Ouija Warriors today. And I accidentally called it Ouija Wars. Which wouldn't yeah, be, so have been a bad name if it wasn't. Yeah. Bad. If it was all Ouija's. This is a cool burst attack. I remember, like, when I was watching this, and you guys were, like, complaining about the fact that it wasn't a Z move. The Sinister and... Arrow Ray would have been a much better choice. Instead, they did, like, the nice Tornado throw. and, uh. Spirit Shackle. I'm pretty sure it's spirit. called something else. No, it's but, called uh, Leaf Tornado, and yeah, it's probably called something else, but it, that's what it is. It's made of Spirit Shackle and Leaf Why? Okay, thank you, but he's out of range. I hate Mimikyu. I hate Mimikyu. <laughs> no, I don't remember too much. I was I mad. It weakened my Synergy Burst. Look. You can see it's not doing anything. Yeah, you got your status effects down there. Honestly, yeah. I never noticed the status effects too much. But... I mean, just look, that. Uh, it didn't do anything. And I didn't realize it. I should have waited. And yeah, because gone. Weavile's got. is really good with charging up Synergy, even though she loses it pretty fast. My Weavile is a boy to me. Whatever. Point is. Sure it would have like been. Chip somewhere anyway, to one thing I do like about this game is I remember one thing I really liked is that Vanilla Jack just kept crossing you up, and it looked very, it looked very impressive. Yeah, even though I crossed both you guys up during uh, Marvel's Capcom, nice. you guys didn't like say, "Oh, that looked great, that looked amazing." That's Maybe. because I don't know. Anyway, so two and zero. Oh. Yeah, two zero. Oh, Vanilla Jack. Good job from both players. Golly. <laughs> He's man's capture because he hates me. And then this one is just uh an accident. Yikes. More of an accident than creating this channel. That's a, that was a joke. Don't unsubscribe Less or anything. Alright, so <laughs> the scores the tables have turned. Yes. Vanilla Jack is still in first with 13 points. I myself I'm in tw I'm now in second with 12, and Christy Chat is behind with 11. You can see all different points, like all the factors and stuff on the screen right now. That's all the time we have for today. Be sure to stay tuned for our next game as we go into the most hated platform fighter of all time, Brawlhalla. And I will see you later.